Hi guys, Michael Polk here. In this video I'm going to show you some of the basics of um, spreadsheets and we're going to do a task called pixel art. So um, I hope you enjoy this task. I think it's a little bit fun. So let's get into it. So This is um, a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. So we're going to start off by um, showing you just a few things about spreadsheets. So if you've used spreadsheets before you might want to skip ahead just a little bit. So spreadsheets are used for, they're a sophisticated calculator if you like. So for example if I put in some numbers and I want to add them up I can do a quick sum and it will add them up like that using formulas. So that's the, the, the real basics of a spreadsheet in a nutshell. But um, what we're going to do with it today is something a little bit more fun. We're going to turn this into a grid of squares so that we can create um, some pixel art. So first things first, if these are called cells. Each box is called a cell so I can select multiple cells and do things with them. Um, if I want to select a whole column of cells I can click on the, uh, the B for example and that's highlighted all the the cells in column B and I can do things like delete that column, uh, insert another column, things like that. I can also select the numbers down the side here and that will uh, select an entire row of cells as well. This is important because what you can do, for example, if I were to highlight, oops, if I were to highlight um, say those four columns, when I move my cursor in between the letters you'll notice that it goes um, blue and there's a little arrow. I can change the width of column E and because the other cells are highlighted as well or the other columns are highlighted they will all change to the same as E. See that? So let's just undo that. Uh, um, I can do the same thing with the numbers. I can select multiple rows and I can change the width of them which is a handy thing so let's just undo those steps um, if I want to select not just all the columns and not just all the rows I can click on this little area here this is a, a box it doesn't actually have a name but let's call it the awesome box because it's awesome so if I click on the awesome box um, then it selects every single cell in the spreadsheet and by the way there's quite a lot of cells I think it goes down to about a thousand rows and you can add more rows as well and columns for that matter uh, columns it goes up to Z but you can add in a whole lot more um, so okay so we click on the awesome box it selects every cell in the spreadsheet and I can grab any one of those columns and I can resize it down to about there and you'll notice now we've got, they look like pretty much squares, yep. So this is going to be what I'll use for my pixel art. Now I probably want to have some more cells over here. So all I can do, all I need to do is select that again, select all of them and right click and it's asking me what I want to do. Because I've selected a thousand rows, it's asking me if I want to insert another thousand rows. I don't, but I do want to insert another 26 columns and that's probably enough. So now we've got all of our little squares ready to do some pixel art. Um, you can either draw one um, freehand, freestyle, um, but I recommend going and finding a, an example of a pixel art picture on Google Images or something like that. Then what you do is you click on the insert menu option and then you go down to image and you've got two options, image in cell or image over cells. We're going to go image over cells and because I downloaded this pixel, this picture, sorry, from the internet, I can just drag this straight into here. Now this example that I'm going to show you is very basic. <laughs> it's Pikachu and it's got hardly any pixels at all. This is too easy for what you want to do, but for the sake of the example I will show it to you. So I'm just going to highlight those two there. Oops. And I'm going to go up to my paint bucket and I'm going to fill that in black. Too easy. Then the next one down is going to be under there. 
when you get a color that you are going to use over and over you can select that color and just copy it command C and command V to paste it and you can keep going command V command V to paste there is even a quicker way if you've got a whole row of those cells of that color you can just drag grab that little tiny little blue box down there and that will copy the contents of the cell across uh, you can do it with multiple cells so I can select both of those and I'm going to copy that down there like that so you can fill in your squares quite quickly with what you need this one is a little bit wider than this one so if I select all those cells again I can just make those cells a little bit narrower Oops, and that's pretty good I'm happy with that okay so here's another one that I've been working on this is my Darth Vader one it's a little bit more advanced than the Pikachu which I think is probably sort of the bare minimum I would expect for this task now if you've done one you can do a second one and if you've done two you might have time to do three depending on how quick you can do it and it depends on how detailed your um, pixel art drawing is in the first place so I hope this is a useful video and I'll see you in the next one bye now